What's going on, everyone? Live today, we're going over WrestleMania 2019, WrestleMania 35 predictions. It's going down to MetLife Stadium this Saturday, April 7th. Make sure that you're watching it on the WWE Network for only $9.99. So our first match of the WrestleMania day, it's going to be a long day, a lot of matches. Let's get this rolling. Buddy Murphy versus Tony Nese. I definitely see Tony Nese coming out on top on this one. He has worked really hard. He deserves a push. Uh, I think he's going to come out on top and win this match. Guaranteed this Sunday at WrestleMania. For the Women's Battle Royal, uh, I have to give it to Asuka. Uh, after what they just did to her on SmackDown, just ripping the title from her like that and shitting on her singles match opportunity for WrestleMania, uh, I feel like you have to automatically repay her and reward her and give her this Battle Royal. She deserves it, Asuka. Uh, Asuka. Uh, for the Andre Giant Battle Royal, I wish Andre the Giant would just come back to life and throw everyone over the top rope because, honestly, I barely know who's in this uh, Battle Royal that Andre uh, is supposedly it's in his memorial. I don't know, man. Braun Strowman and some guys from Saturday Night Live. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Braun Strowman comes out on top because uh, they've shitted on him. He deserves a push. Uh, I mean, I don't know how he's still not getting the push he needs. But, uh, yeah, Braun Strowman or the Saturday Night Live guys, but Braun Strowman, I'm thinking. So, on to the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Uh, with the fire that Ricochet and Aleister Black have been causing, I definitely cannot see them losing this match. Uh, I see the Usos giving these guys the titles and making them have a solid debut in the WWE. Probably the quickest tag team title run uh, for two non-tag team guys that just got put together and then bam. Uh, they're pretty much shitting on Rusev and Shinsuke. These guys should have nothing to do with this match. This shows you the lack of tag team talent on SmackDown that Shinsuke and Rusev are able to get into the main event for the tag team championships. Even though they should be in the United States Championship, that should have been a fatal four-way, but let's not get into that, whatever. So yeah, uh, Aleister Black and uh, Ricochet are going to come on top for this one. Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. Uh, yeah, this match should be hot fucking garbage dumpster fire status. So what I'm hoping is that uh, the guy that you can't see, you can see. And uh, he comes out, kicks the shit out of Baron Corbin. And then we have a nice legendary match between Kurt Angle and John Cena. The man that you cannot see, but sometimes you can see him. Uh, yeah, I see you, John. And I hope I see you Sunday at WrestleMania. Uh, give... Uh, Kurt Angle, the farewell he deserves. On to Bobby Lashley versus the Demon Finn Balor. Uh, this match should be interesting because they haven't had the Demon out on a pay-per-view in a long time. And usually when he is on a pay-per-view, he does not lose. So knowing that I'm going to have to pick the Demon Finn Balor to walk out of that life for the Intercontinental Championship, I don't think fucking Bobby Lashley or anybody is going to stop the Demon. Uh, Finn Balor, yes. We've seen Brock stop Finn. But uh, I don't think we could see Bobby stop the demon. Uh, with that being said, uh, I just don't see Finn Balor losing at WrestleMania. Yeah, he's well uh, deserving of an opportunity as well. So uh, Finn Balor over Bobby Lashley. Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. This match might not even happen because Mysterio hurt his knee. But if it does happen, I see Joe just squashing Rey Mysterio. Giving Rey Mysterio just maybe a little bit of sunlight and then just ripping it right out of him and boom. Uh, I, I don't see this match being longer than 10 to 15 minutes. Tops, sleeper hold, Rey Mysterio's going to sleep. He's getting knocked out. Joe's going to kill him. Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. The match that might actually uh, steal the show. Uh, I'm looking very forward to this match. Uh, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, two of the biggest stars in professional wrestling ever. Uh, I see... AJ somehow losing to Randy Orton to bring back Orton's stock because I see a, a title run in Orton's future. As much as I want to call AJ Styles for this match, uh, I'm calling Randy Orton. I think Randy Orton will beat AJ Styles this Sunday at MetLife Stadium. Hopefully after that match, we get to see this. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing that Undertaker's going to come out and just tombstone Elias. Uh, I'd rather it be a three-minute match where he gets tombstone. Uh, hopefully it's a match, a couple of minutes, whatever it is. 
but I definitely see Undertaker coming out and tombstoning Elias, whether it's in a match or just uh, just a tombstone. So, yeah, expect that to happen. Women's Tag Team Championship match. Another match I could give a shit about. But uh, expect to see Sasha and uh, Bailey probably coming out of this on top. Uh, yeah, they, they always shit on Natty. So they always shit on Tamina. And the Iconics are just too fresh to have these belts. And uh, I'm pretty sure those Hug Boss Connection toys sets and uh, tea cups and t-shirts and hats and fucking maxi pads or whatever else they're going to fucking sell. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're selling a lot of merchandise. So I, I don't see these two ladies losing these titles anytime soon. On to a match that I'm actually interested in. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Uh, they're not going to let Leukemia Boy lose to Drew McIntyre, unfortunately. Drew McIntyre should win this match. In a real fight, I think Drew McIntyre would beat the shit out of Roman Reigns. But uh, with that being said, Drew should win the match, but he's probably not. Uh, Roman Reigns is, uh, you know... Well, it'd be interesting to see the reaction he's going to get in New York City. Because this is in Alabama, or Georgia, or some other fucking state that they just are in love with this guy. Uh, New York's a tough crowd, so we'll see. But uh, I expect Roman Reigns to unfortunately beat Drew McIntyre, uh, even though he shouldn't. Shane versus The Miz, another match I'm really not interested in. I see The Miz winning this match. Uh, Shane's going to you know, take the fall so Miz can have a, a very lucrative uh, face, baby face career change. And really give him that push to being a face. Probably revert back, back to being a heel at some point. But right now I just see Shane McMahon uh, losing this match. Triple H versus Batista. Hands down Triple H will destroy Batista. Uh, it's destiny. Uh, it's just the way it is. There's no way Triple H's career is going to be over. That's another key giveaway. And of course he's going to get revenge for Ric Flair. 70 year old man that Batista attacked. Obviously I know this is all fake. But I'm just talking about the storyline. Triple H is a beast, and I expect him to beat the holy fucking shit out of Batista. And I'll be looking forward to that match. Seth Rollins versus the Beast Brock Lesnar. Uh, undoubtedly the best match of the night for me. Uh, I want to call Seth Rollins is going to come out on top because he deserves it. After this, if you shit on him right now, what are you really saying about Seth? If you want to make him a primetime player again, you want him selling merchandise, you got to you got to make him slay the beast. He slays the beast. That t-shirt will be selling for years to come. Uh, Brock can go take a little break right now, come back and take over SmackDown, uh, send Bobby Lashley over there. There's a lot of things you can do. But uh, I, I say give Seth Rollins the run he deserves. Uh, and yeah, give him the belt. Put the belt back on. Br bring the belt back to Raw. Not, you know, but you got to bring the belt back to Raw. If Brock wins, I, I would enjoy that too. Just because I know my boy Vinnie Mac loves uh, ruining people's nights. And, uh, you know, people are expecting a fucking uh, very happy day on Sunday. But you might not get that. Vince McMahon might not give you that. Vince McMahon might screw you on the next, on this match and the next two matches. But this match I'm calling Seth Rollins is going to beat Brock Lesnar. And he's going to slay the beast this Sunday at WrestleMania. Next time we have Kofi Bryan. No, that's not wrong. That's wrong. Kofi Kingston. We are alive, and you know we're not going to edit this. We make mistakes and shit. Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan with his fucking wooden belt, his little toy he has over there. Now I'm going to call again Kofi to win over Daniel Bryan because there's a lot of T-shirts that they want to sell. A lot of actually piles and piles and piles of T-shirts and New Day merchandise that they want to sell. And they're going to give Kofi the belt in hopes that this moves a lot of merchandise. And that's that. But again, don't be surprised if Daniel Bryan comes out on top because Vince is a piece of shit sometimes. And he likes pissing people off. And there will be no better way to piss people off than to let Daniel Bryan walk out of Met Life with that WWE Championship. This one right here. Yeah, you do that, you're going to have... A uh, very angry crowd, a very uh, <laughs> uh, disturbed WWE universe, to say the least. But in uh, my pick, I gotta say, Kofi is gonna beat Daniel Bryan this Sunday at WrestleMania. Now on to our main event: 
the main event. A match where I hope Vince does piss everybody off and lets Charlotte Flair, the greatest female women's competitor of all time, walk out of there with all the gold. But that might not be the case. Everybody wants to see Becky Lynch come out on top. The fan favorite here is to pick Becky Lynch, but I'm going against all that. Even though I know for a fact Becky Lynch is probably going to win, she is not my pick, and the reason she's not my pick is because I don't want her to win this match. I feel that she's been shoved down our throats. The organic stopped about a year ago. Charlotte is the hardest working woman in the world. And, uh, you know, Ronda's a beast. I think she's the best natural talent to have come into the WWE in a long time. Her transition was flawless, perfect, and she did get her push already. She already got a run. Uh, she needs some time off right now. Fine, take your time off and let the queen have a beautiful run with uh, Becky Lynch. They can go back and forth with the titles in the next year or so. But I say Charlotte Flair is walking out of MetLife with the belts, although I'm probably going to regret that. Uh, that's my pick. Because that's what I want to see at the end of the night. I want to see all those sad faces. All those legions of the man t-shirts. I want to see them all sad and upset. And not happy. I want Vince McMahon to make my dreams come true. And let everybody go home. Just a little bit sad. Because the man is not the man. Because the queen is the queen. Charlotte Flair is going to win this match. This Sunday at MetLife. WrestleMania, I'll be there, I'll be posting videos, and I'll have content and pictures, and I'm going to try to get some autographs and some of these belts. But yeah, let me know what you think of this video, let me know if you think I'm right, wrong, who are your picks, or don't. It's up to you, either way, enjoy your weekend, enjoy the WWE Network, and if you're at WrestleMania, I might see you there. This is Greek, and as always, I am Savage. Take care, folks.